I, I discovered that actors, for some reason, have a difficult time when they're going to the big show, when they go to the big meeting, where, let's say, someone recognizable is in there. I remember, for example, today, Henry Winkler will be seated two tables over from where I am. I went in and saw the setup. Many, many years ago, I went in for a read where Henry Winkler was one of the executive producers. And just the image of him alone, the Fonz, you know, there, for a lot of people would make for a very intimidating outing. And so what they're able to do in their, in their living room with their wife or with their mother or sister, brother or cousin, and they're able to relax, all of a sudden they see Henry Winkler and their knees start shaking and their hands start shaking and they perspire and, and maybe they get that little quivering thing in their throat. And then all of a sudden, and I know this from experience, I ask actors, how many of you have ever had the experience of the finest version of the audition be the one that takes place in the car on the way home after the audition? And they always raise their hands like, yeah, well, so how could you become that relaxed while you're in the real deal when it matters most? And I decided that in order to just practice a relaxation technique, and it was only an experiment. I didn't need it. I was always at ease in these meetings. I decided to fill my shoes with syrup and actual maple syrup. Let me look here and say maple syrup. Uh, and, I, and so I went into this high-powered meeting for a series regular role, and my shoes were full of syrup. And I got to tell you, you can't mess up a meeting when your shoes are full of syrup because you know what? You don't care. You don't care. Someone greets you and says, hi, I'm so-and-so, and you go, hi. <laughs> hi. And that's really what's going on. And what's beautiful is it's a harmless secret and only you know. Well, I did this for a number of, of years, and each time stepping it up, and I wound up beginning to put things like bologna and breakfast cereal and whatnot actually in my undershorts. And I moved away from the socks altogether and discovered that food in my undershorts was the secret to success. Now, here's the point. I'm not joking. People go, oh, that's just such a funny bit. That, that's funny. No, it's true. And, uh, and I've been doing it for years. So.